Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see this sum in oblique. Front view, top view is given. Now if you see in this case, there are three parts in front view and in top view respectively. Now if you see this part 1 is here, part 2 is inside, right, inside by 28 and part 3 is behind. So this distance is not given, I'll just write it as 10. So what I will do, first I'll start with part 1. So if you see height is how much? 35. So I will take 35. Always remember, whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind. So with that concept, you can take this part behind. You take midpoint. It's given 40. So at 40 you mark center. Then you take radius 20. So this is part 1. Now the same part 1 is behind. So how much you should go behind? 28 plus 34. That is 62. See in this the length was 120. Width was 62 and height was 65 plus 25 see this is full line so that we can draw full dark right whatever is there in the front the same thing is behind with that concept but if you see on the right side it's only 28 behind then we have to draw part 2 so what i'm doing here i'm drawing only 28 dark so from here i will take 28 And after that, I will draw a horizontal line. How much it is? 50. So I'll mark 50. Midpoint 25. And I'll go up. How much I need to go up? It is 30 up. Why? Because 65 minus 35. See, 30 up. from here you draw horizontal line now how much is this radius 25 so take midpoint from here you take radius 25 and you draw arc then you have radius 10 diameter 20 so that you can draw So we got so we got part two. After that, same part two is behind. How much behind? Thirty four. So we'll take the center behind by thirty four. See this from where we have done radius twenty five. From that point, we'll go behind by thirty four, and we'll draw tangent also. We'll take this point also behind by thirty four. So you mark this point behind thirty four. See, you take the original radius, which is 25, you go behind by 34 and you draw a radius. You 
you draw a vertical line you draw a tangent how much is this 10 mm so take 10 mm how much you should go behind now 24 why because this is 34 minus 10 Let's say this is point P. So the behind one thirty four is P dash, and twenty four is P double dash. So from P double dash, now you need to draw arc because now we are drawing tangent, tangent of that part. It's called rib. So what I'm doing, I'm cutting the same radius, going behind by twenty four, and cutting it. Now I will draw parallel line. So this is how it will come. So we are done with this tangent part. Now we need to draw this circle. How much I need to go behind? Forty. So I'll take this line behind by forty. I'll take this also behind by forty. Now, from this center point, we'll go behind by forty, and again draw radius twenty. So I will take twenty from here. I'll go behind by forty, and again I'll draw radius twenty. So we are done with this oblique sum. I hope everyone understood this. This is very important sum from the examination point of view, ICSE technical drawing application point of view. Thank you.